Hi, Paul here with Harry uh, and Margot and Murphy are wandering about as well. So if they come to the shop, please excuse them. Uh, and we're up today on this cool, brisk, autumnal day below the wonderful uh, Langattic Escarpment above Krakow. Krakow's just down there. Black Mountains are all over there. It's absolutely stunning, cold, crisp and delightful. And I'm here today to talk to you about this wonderful jacket. This is the Montane Icarus Light Jacket. So what is it? Well, it's a synthetically insulated, incredibly lightweight, incredibly breathable, incredibly efficient, incredibly squashable, compressible, lightweight jacket for just about any mountain activity that you care to think of. The real thing about this jacket is the incredibly, I'm using that word a lot, aren't I? Is the amazingly technological uh, advanced filling on the inside, but we'll go to that a bit later. But what it does mean is this jacket performs superbly in all conditions. It's brilliant uh, in cold, crisp conditions like today. It works really well in damp, wet conditions. Uh oh, Murphy's found a stick. And uh, because the filling really hardly loses any of its thermal efficiency, even if it gets wet. But like I said, we'll go on to that a bit later. So this is the Montane Icarus Light Jacket, a synthetically insulated, lovely thing. Okay, so what is the uh, Montane Icarus Light made from? Well, the, uh, the, the bright orange stuff on the outside that you can see quite clearly and evidently is the ever reliable Pertex Quantum fabric. Now Pertex Quantum is made up from super, super, super fine nylon fibres that are woven tightly to create a windproof yet highly breathable fabric that is soft, lightweight, easy to compress and allows the filling on the inside to uh, achieve its maximum loft. So it doesn't kind of stifle the uh, ability of the synthetic filling on the inside to, to loft up to its full potential. Uh, it's also a great colour, really like orange, uh, and it just feels fabulous. It's really soft, it's got good tear resistance, good abrasion resistance. It is a nylon after all, but it is just very, very lightweight and uh, easily compressible. So sitting behind the lovely Pertex Quantum fabric on the outside is the stuff that gives the jacket its warmth and amazing abilities, basically. Um, and what you've got inside here is the latest thing from uh, the, the masters of synthetic insulation, that's Primaloft. So you've got 160 grams of Primaloft silver thermoplume insulation with cross-core technology. Now, uh, as usual, what I'll do is try and break that down a little bit so it makes a bit, a bit of sense. Primaloft, as I've said before, they are kind of market leaders in synthetic insulation. They've, they've been doing it for years. They know what they're doing. Uh, silver, it's just part of a range. They do different uh, types of um, grading of fabric and the silver just gives you a good reliable filling that's very um, good at resisting moisture basically so it's nice robust filling will re re, uh, reduce moisture uptake. Thermoplume, now here's the clever bit normally with synthetic insulation uh, it's, it's, in, it's in like a sheet it's just a sheet of insulation that's, that's placed into the jacket and either stitched in or just laminated into the jacket but thermoplume mimics natural down it is actually thermo as in warm, plume, as in plumes of, you know, stuff. So it's designed to mimic down. It's little tufts of synthetic fibres that lofts and traps air much in the same way that down does. So that thermoplume insulation, uh, it, like I said, it mimics down. And it really does feel, like when I got the jacket out here to put it on, I really had to double check that it, I'd got the right one because it really does feel like down. It looks and feels like down and has the same kind of characteristics that so lofts up beautifully to trap all that warm air. Now the cross-core technology. Sorry, we've got, we got the police helicopter buzzing up for some reason and maybe they've they found out where I am, I don't know. So embedded in that, uh, in that thermo plume in those beautiful little tufts of synthetic fibres is a, a really, really clever substance uh, that makes up the cross-core part of the insulation. So what Montaigne have done along with Primaloft is to bond to the uh, thermoplume fibres a stuff called Aerogel. Now Aerogel is, um, as the name implies, it's aero, air and gel. And it is the lightest solid substance known to man. It was developed by NASA and it has incredible insulative properties. Uh, and basically it's made by removing moisture from a gel to create this incredibly lightweight solid structure uh, that, that is used in insulation. 
And what uh, Primaloft have done is managed to bond bits of that aerogel, if you like, to the thermoplume because it adds uh, about 10 to 15 percent extra warmth with virtually no weight whatsoever. And because the aerogel uh, has fantastic insulation properties, even if the filling gets soaking wet, it retains in excess of 90 percent of its warmth. So it's an incredibly efficient synthetic insulation in this jacket and like so you don't need a huge amount of it to feel nice and warm I and mean, it's not it's not absolutely freezing up here today i'd say we're in single digits maybe nine ten degrees with a bit of a wind chill and i'm super toasty in this and it's, it's a very lightweight jacket so it's an incredibly efficient techno technologically advanced filling that uh, thermoplume with the cross core technology with that aerogel inside to, to really maximize the performance so as you can see from, from the jacket, it's uh, all that wonderful insulation is held in place with these mini uh, stitch through baffles. It's a very simple construction, but very effective. And it just makes sure that the filling stays where it's supposed to and works to keep you nice and warm. And then on the inside of the jacket, uh, Montaigne have used a, a very, very lightweight um, nylon again to uh, help with the breathability and with the durability. And so it glides nice and easily over your layers, uh, just makes it wonderful to wear, but nice and durable as well. Okay, so what are the features? Uh, well, to be honest, th there's not a huge amount that the jacket is designed to be super lightweight and compressible, so you don't want to stuff it up with a load of features, but I will go through the main ones so you've got an idea of what's involved with this lovely jacket. So up at the top, you get a fully insulated hood. It's not uh, helmet compatible as it goes over the top of the helmet, but it sits really nicely underneath the helmet, it sits close to your head and you can get the helmet over the top, uh, which if you sat on a really cold belay, I don't know what Murphy's doing with this stick. If you sat on a really cold belay, uh, it does actually insulate you better because the insulation is closer to your head. So it's, it's more efficient in that respect. Uh, on the front of the jacket, you've got this uh, ever reliable YKK zip. Uh, nice and simple, nice and reliable, nice and tough, just keep working. It's a one-way zip, so literally, you know, down, undo, do up, scoop it up, that kind of thing. And then you've got two nice little hand warmer pockets. They're a decent size, you know, you can get, uh, get your hands in there, which is always a bonus for a hand warmer pocket. Uh, maybe a pair of gloves, lightweight hat, that kind of thing. And they are, use uh, a lightweight reversed uh, zip pocket. So it just keeps the zips nice and neat and out of the way and nice little um, plastic toggles on there make them easy to use with your gloves or your mitts on. You get fully articulated sleeves so if you're climbing and you're reaching up the jacket doesn't ride up unnecessarily and these are finished off with just a neat turned elasticated finish on there so um, pretty snug around the wrists but they will stretch to fit over gloves and mitts and then down at the bottom just a simple elasticated hem just to keep that snug there's a it's blowing right up behind me here and this is just keeping the small on my back warm stopping that draft creeping up inside the jacket so not absolutely packed with features but enough there for a little bit of storage and just to keep the jacket working keep it neat and trim to your body and to ensure that it packs down super small and you'll notice in the right hand pocket here that it's got a little zip puller on the inside as well so if you're wondering what that's for that's for to stuff the jacket away you literally just turn the pocket inside out, stuff the jacket inside it, and that then brings the zip to the outside, zip it up, hey presto. We'll do a little close up and show you how that's done. So there you have it, uh, after a little bit of a struggle, it's in there, but it does go in, and you can see there you've got a zipped section on the top just to keep it neat and tidy. Packs down really small. Okay, so how does the Montane Icarus light jacket fit? Well, if you're familiar with my videos, or track it videos I should say the you will know that uh, my vital statistics are that I am six foot three I've got a 42 inch chest 34 inch waist and I weigh about 13 and a half stone and this is a size large and to me the fit is absolutely bang on I've got a, a lightweight base layer underneath uh, and, a, and a lightweight uh, mountain equipment fleece jacket under there as well so I've got enough here for kind of active use in cold conditions. Montaigne call it their mountain active fit so it is a little on the trim side but it's designed to be you don't want a big massive jacket so if you are thinking of wearing heavier layers under here you may want to size up but to be honest it's not the kind of jacket where you want to pile lots of layers underneath. Keep the layers lightweight, keep them thin 
uh, and this is the, exactly the kind of jacket you're going to use in more active cold conditions. The Monte Nicholas light jacket is superbly versatile. So this is the kind of piece that you would use uh, like today, cold, dry, uh, just a couple of light layers underneath, moving fast out, it's going to keep the wind out. If it does rain, it's not going to be an issue because of that fantastic um, high performance filling on the inside. So this, you could use this as a standalone outer, but it also works really well as a really nice warm mid layer under a shell in really extreme conditions. Because the filling and the fabrics are so breathable, you're not going to get a problem you know, with sort of overheating on the inside and uh, it just makes this little jacket supremely versatile. It's the sort of thing you know that you could pack up small, put away in your pack, take it with you and also use it as an overlayering piece when you stop for lunch uh, or you're sat at the bottom of a belay. So to summarise the Montaigne Icarus light jacket, it's super lightweight, it has a, a, a very technically advanced filling that provides superb insulation um, with minimal weight. It performs even when it's wet, so it will keep you warm when wet. It has superb breathability and the whole jacket will pack down very, very small. It makes this, uh, I think, probably one of the best kind of versatile, lightweight insulation pieces I've seen for a little while. Really like it, superbly comfortable to wear and obviously from, Mont Mon from Montaigne. It's, uh, it's really well made and it's a product that you can rely on. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, that's it. That's, just, that, that's how I would summarise this great little jacket. So Harry will put a link up on the screen here uh, with a link through to a video of ours telling you how best to wear an insulated jacket, how it should fit properly. There'll also be a link through to the Icarus Light jacket if you want to go and geek out some more information or to go ahead and buy one. And as usual, if you like our content, please hit the subscribe button below and we always like to hear your comments and questions, so leave any feedback in the section below. Thanks for watching. Toodaloo.